Hello everyone, this is part 3 of how to make a TU8 mod menu for MW2 and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to, how to add a news bar and toggle in options. Uh, if you don't know what a news bar is, I'll show you now by my menu and if you can, it's a bit blurry but it's this text at the top which goes along the screen and it's pretty much in every menu so yeah, you probably want to go and have this to make your menu look a bit better and also toggling options so that is where you don't have to have another option for on and off for say no clip you can just press no clip once press it again it will turn it on and off with the same button so that's quite good and it saves up another line uh, so let's get started first of all we'll add the news bar and I've made this this notepad file here which I'll have in the description which you can download and it's basically examples of each and this is what I'll be using now to show you about like this thing uh, this is not my news bar so what you want to do is just delete this text and I'll just put in news bar text so you know that's what you want to edit and uh, I need to change this to news bar quick so that's that done so basically what you do you'll download this file and you'll copy and paste this and, uh, just go up above commands and go down and paste that in like that basically what this does is it's, this is a for loop so this means it does it over and over again like it goes to the end and it will loop and do it again and it only does it if the game's loaded and this is how it, this works basically it, it's making the X position go in minus and it's got an if statement so basically if if the X position equals minus 900 it will set it back to 1000 and start again so like it always goes to 1000 to minus 900 and over and over and this is for all client and it is the news bar text so basically this will just go from 1000 to minus 900 and obviously we're getting the errors because we haven't made these yet which so we'll add actually first you want to add this part here otherwise it won't work so you want to come right to the bottom underneath create thread commands so it's right at the bottom just paste that in which is the news bar now you want to go back up to the top and what I've made is, I want to add in this newsbar text, the newsbar shader, which is defining stuff for the newsbar. After you've done that, you need to come down to here. And I know I'm being really lazy and pasting this. Uh, just. I want to make the tutorials as quick as possible, so because the last the first one was 17 minutes and I didn't realise, and it did take a long time for me to actually render it. So got an error. Here. I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I've done wrong. Oh, I missed an S. Stupid. So you want to go back and put an S because I forgot to do that. Yeah, so now that's fine. Basically, now all you need, all you need to do is put in this set icon. And if you just, it's fine just just put it underneath here. Basically, if you want constant on-screen text as well, um, you can put it here because this is the start of the game basically. So if you put it here, it will be constant so that's a good place to put things so obviously the news bar shader and this is at the bottom of the screen uh, just some text and all it's going to say at the minute is news bar text you can just put like in here welcome to my menu menu name or something I don't know like that and then maybe the two lines what everyone goes for you know and just carry on like that so that that's the news bar done. It's as easy as that. But 
I told you how it works and everything. Uh, it's pretty simple how it works. It goes from just one X position to the other. Uh, there is better ways to do it. This is not the best way. Uh, it is better to use move over time. But unfortunately it's not in this base. And if you want it, you can go on the the seven sins big post and convert it into James's base. It's not it's not really that hard to do if you wanted to do that. And it's much smoother as well. This is just a simple way to let you know how to do it. Right, so that's done for the news bar. Now I'm going to do the toggling options. And this is for all your stuff like no clip, god mode, all that stuff. So basically how it works is buy a ball or a bullying, whatever. And what that is is um either a yes or a no statement so a yes or no or true or false either so it's it's either on or off uh, so what you want to do is just ball and we'll do no clip we'll do no clip first and you can just put it you can do all of them if you want uh, UFO all stuff like that Right, so yeah, you just you add them all here if you want, and uh, you want to go down into your options. Actually, I'll go into the I'll go into the first sub menu now, uh, and say default weapon or option three. I wanted uh, no clip like that. I'd go down to the option where no clip is, which I believe is case three here. And what you need to do is have an if statement. So if no clip, which is the name of the ball, and again, if you don't want to type this, I have put it in here for you. So you can just get it and look how it works. Uh, if no clip is equals to false some sh or the first one yeah right then you have your the no clip code like that and then else if no clip is equals to true. You want the the no clip off code. All it was is a change from zero to one. That's it's just on and off basically. This is the same option. It's just if you pressed it. It will put it on, and else, if it's you pressed it again, it will turn it off. Uh, in this version, which I've put in here, basically I've said how I want the text from, to go from green to red. So it looks like you're turning it on and off. And I've done this by glow, glowing text. Now you don't have to use glowing text, but I think it looks better per. You can just copy this in if you want, but to be make sure if you copy my one in that this isn't always going to be right because uh, I've done this says text free and all that, which and really no clip in my option was text four. So you need to be careful which one you select. And you wanna you wanna use this line really because you need to have the certain amount of line breaks in it and all that stuff. So you need to make sure you use this line instead of the one I I put in. You can take this away. That that that's just a basic um, on and off switch. That is, you can add the text if you want to, which is an option. And glow text is adding on. Like you'll just have your stuff. Glow text is adding on three more at the end. So that's how you do that. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And I might show you how to... Actually, no, I'll wait for next time. Um, yeah, I'll just wait for next time.
because this is probably getting on time wise so yeah that is a simple switch and again if you wanted to make another one copy this put it down here or actually yeah you could also do this as well one one last thing you do your SV and then I'm one F and then you can have like um on you do that and you do the same thing for off it's another way to let you know what's going on so yeah that's it that's your switch so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and comment and i should get part four out shortly